take a look at this one. I think this might be, well, it's either going to be real complicated or real hard. So uh, we have, kind of see what it did right there. Well, yeah, it's, it's, uh, all right, we're going to check a couple things on this. Because it's either the screen or it's the, um, the screen needs to be replaced or the screen cable is damaged. We'll find out here real quick. Where is my, is that? Yeah, the way it looks, he said it was dropped. He's expecting to replace the panel, but I just want to check some stuff first. Cause you never know. Definitely looks like the panel. This is a Dell Inspiron 7490. On the bottom, we have three captive screws, then one, two, three, four, five, six non-captive screws that just come out. And they're all the same size, so you should be good. You don't have to worry about mixing and matching them. It's not gonna affect anything on this guy. This computer's about four years old at this point. So yeah, it's, it's worth trying to fix this at least once for sure. All right, so after we have those screws undone, just need to go along the edge, release all the clips, bottom comes off. So we're gonna check a couple things. The cable, which man, that looks like that's held in there nice and firmly, doesn't it? Got a whole bracket holding it in. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you like these videos, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. It really, really helps the channel. No captive screw things going on here. It's a problem with these Dells. Like they're impossible to actually turn off. Any day now, Dell. Thank you. All right, so let's, let's get a good look at this. Why? All right. Unplugged. What type of connector are you? Are you a slide or are you a straight lift? So it's got a flip over the top. Yeah, there's no way it was, it was that. But we're gonna unplug it and we're gonna plug it back in just to be safe. Yeah, that's a wild video connector mechanism there. in hold that back over I mean it's only 430 or 450 excuse me I worked till 530 all right let's get this guy back on here no this is a, like a new thing that Dell started doing so this is the other thing I was kind of worried about the SSD on this is integrated no, never mind or, yeah, the memory is integrated, excuse me. So the memory is directly integrated, and I was hoping that maybe it was one of the memory modules. Let's get this battery all the way out. This thing's starting to aggravate me. Come on, unplug, thank you. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bezel off, see if it's a quick removal. if it has like a little pull strip on it, if it does, then what I can do, if that, if like, re, like unhooking connecting the cable fixes it, and if it does, then we're looking at just time and labor here. No parts needed. Now while I'm in here, these hinges feel like that's tight. That's tight. These hinges are tiny. And we need to get like into a very, very tight space here. It's just not cooperating. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's got adhesive around the top. Even though it's got clips, it's like, I would clips and adhesive. You know, we didn't design our clips well enough to hold things in place. I hate laptops that do this. It's like, yeah, here you go. It's off. It's 100% off. Yeah, is it? No. There we go. And then the adhesive that's on this side is not gonna want to just be released freely. Why would it do that? That would be so simple. Why would we want to let our customers repair our products? Oh, oh wait. We don't. Here we go. Jeez. Okay. So looking at this, we have exactly what I expected. At the bottom here, when you're looking, these two black squares you see are actually pull tabs. So we're going to release Ooh, very nice. Going to start by releasing this. There's one, and I have, I have the adhesive this so I can replace this. So it's not, not that big of a deal. So now it's also held in with screws because you know, reasons. Of course, there's no way to get to the screws easily Let's see if I if my long neck screwdriver will do the job hopefully no Let's see if this will do the job there we go I have a total of one two three four five screws holding it in and then this whole panel should just in theory slide down but you know we've seen that theory means nothing on this computer so far see that you're supposed to move that's lifted like there should be no more adhesive at all holding this in but it's insisting on staying in place for some reason and it sure as heck feels like there's still adhesive here. Like it feels like there's a line of adhesive right down the center of this in the back. Because at this point, like there's nothing, like there's nothing vertically holding this up. Holden, Karen, good to see you both. What is going on here? Like what is actively holding this in? There sh it should be nothing. And I can't put more pressure on this because that's going to break it, like 100%. Ugh. What's aggravating is I just need to get to this cable. Like, and there's nothing, it's, it's the cable, what's holding it in right now is this, is the cable for the camera. Well, we're gonna do something slightly not recommended. So we'll put this on. Why would you put like such a strong adhesive pad up there? So silly. All right, so the likelihood of this being this problem on this being this cable are minuscule at best. So it's more than likely gonna be the panel. Well, we're gonna reseat it regardless. Make sure that doesn't get all the way back on there. 
You know my luck, I would put it in there and it would immediately be like, oh yeah, here you go. I'm going to stick again. See if it does the same thing. Yep, so there was a small little crack underneath there. All right. Well, let's see how much how expensive this panel is. Oh, there's a whole nother pull tab. I see. It's a weird choice, Dell. I don't foresee this being super expensive, thankfully, because it's a non-touch screen. The next day. So we started working on this a little bit ago. Ordered the screen for this. This is one of the ones where just a real, real pain in the butt. We were hoping that we would be able to remove this without damaging it. Unfortunately, it had a like super, super, I'm trying to remember which side, something was this side. Yeah, there is a super tiny crack like right over here and it was causing lots of black lines. Now we're gonna see if this, hopefully this is the right one. Yeah, this, this gets it up and running again. So far, everything's looking correct. All right, so we get these little screws out the bottom and we're gonna stand, stand this up in there. This is the one where it has to slide. So at the top, you can see these guys here. Let me get in here, get in shot so you guys can actually see this. You can see these little metal tabs, they slide directly up into there. See if this has a little bit of a charge left in it. If not, I'm gonna have to Grab a power cord. One thing that I'm noticing with this, which shouldn't be a big deal, is this screw that was supposed to go here is slightly out of place. The rest of these all look like they are fine. Just put that in. <clears throat> Let's get a more, more powerful one. Okay. Let's see, this is a little bit more power. This is 65 watts. We'll see if this is enough to get this thing powered on. It should be. Let me guess. The battery is so dead that I have to actually pull this apart and reset the battery. I remember now. I unplugged this thing because it wouldn't stop turning on. All comes flooding back to me. Only thing before we close this all the way back up is I just need to verify, need to verify that the camera system is working. So this Windows is gonna need to be reinstalled on this. So this guy doesn't have the BitLocker key. His files are kind of gone. There's nothing I can do about it. We got another laptop to work on. We'll work on that here. But everything else appears to be working. I can't check the webcam. So positive side, as long as we can get that recover, BitLocker recovery key that this thing is asking for, we can get back into it. But Without that, 
Well, this stuff's kind of kind of gone. So we will wait for him to let's wait for him to call back. He's gonna crash right about now. There it goes. That's a that's a failed Windows update. It's also incredibly annoying. that uh, every time you open this thing, it turns itself back on. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked uh -huh. that video, make sure you hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you wanna learn more about my services, check out bradentonpcrepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.